Hey, continuing our genetics um, focus here. Uh, today, we're going to start our exceptions to the rule. Um, boy, wouldn't it be nice if everything was just dominant versus recessive and one trait um, overpowered the other, and we could just do the exact same Punnett squares and everything's in the nice, you know, 25% ratios as we're going. Um, however, chemistry and, you know, molecular chemistry doesn't work like that when it comes to genetics. Um, quite a few have that simple dominance, but other genes behave differently. And so the next several days, we're going to be focusing on just one at a time of different kinds of inheritance. Now, why these are inherited differently, you know, that's a, a question for a class more advanced than uh, high school biology, but um, there is a molecular and chemical reason why these genes behave different ways. And, you know, where this is also on the frontier, we're still uh, studying, still researching, trying to figure out what exactly is the entire genetics picture. This is what we know so far. So um, for, rather than just dominant versus recessive, our second type of inheritance is called incomplete dominance. All right. Now, this is that blending model of inheritance. Okay. So if you have a a heterozygous offspring. So if you have a one of the dominant alleles and one of the recessive alleles, there's going to be a blending or a mixture of the two traits. Uh, best example I can talk about are flowers, right? You take a red flower, cross it with a white flower, and you get a pink flower for this particular snapdragon species. Okay. So um, like I said, anything that is heterozygous results in a third um, phenotype. Okay. So this is where we actually see some blending occur. All right, what does the cross look? Ah, uh, shoot, I don't have an example ready for you. But um, the best example for humans, all right, is that we have a curly, straight, and wavy hair. So if you have curly hair, that means you have two curly genes. If you have straight hair, that means you have two straight genes. And if you have wavy hair, that means you have one gene of each. All right, so kind of both of those proteins get expressed in the process there. Um, I don't know what, you know, no hair, uh, well, actually I do know a little bit of no hair genetics that has to do with uh, more chromosome stuff there. So, um, so like I said, incomplete dominance, that heterozygous trait is going to be a blending of the other two. Um, short and sweet today. All right, we're just going to focus on that. You have a practice assignment online that you can attempt as many times as you would like to.